Hi everyone, welcome to week four of O2 Touch Fit. This is it, it's the final workout, the final piece of the puzzle. This workout is all about power. So we are into our power workout now. This is six individual exercises. You perform a set of each, rest 30 seconds, repeat that exercise, three sets per, and then you move on to the next exercise. So the first exercise is our single leg bound. We're working off one foot at a time here. Lots of stability around the knee joint, so this is helping injury prevention when you're playing touch. So, from one leg, you're gonna sit back in the hips, arms are a little bit involved to scoot back, and then out you go. Make sure you nail that landing with your chest up. You can then step back to where you started from. Same leg, sit back in the pocket, out, and you're jumping again with that stable landing. Woo, just got it. Last one, sit back, and through. And nail that landing, good. All right, you can do six of those, and then change legs. Okay, so our next exercise is the plyometric press up. We've got four levels here. Starting off on the knees, nice and tight through your body, lower yourself down, that little clap, and then control back down. You need to keep control of your midsection here. Next option, if you're a little bit more advanced, will be on the hands, still with that small little clap. If you've got a little bit more in the locker, you can draw the hands all the way back. And then the final piece of the puzzle will be to try and get the legs up as well. This is quite tough. Down, big lift, everything off the floor as your plyometric press-ups. So the next exercise is a gorilla run. This is a full body power movement, some good technical aspects through the hips here as well to make you a better runner on the pitch. Down you go, get soft in the upper body, you're going for a big sweep out and then follow. So next piece, aeroplane hold. What we're gonna do, lie on the floor, get your head down, touch your feet together, bring the arms out to the side, from there tighten up through your glutes, lift, spine comes up, Lower back's working nice and hard, glutes are firing, all those muscles you forget about on a daily basis working, and you're there for 30 seconds. Remember to keep your concentration. Anything could happen, you've got to be aware at all times. So, squat tuck jump, we're looking at increasing your leg power for that big speed when you're on the pitch. Also, a bit of balance, so can you maintain your posture whilst you're running? So, from a squat, you're going to go down, hit that, and then. Coming up into your tuck jump. The final exercise is our split lunge. Beginner's option for starters. Nice upright position, strong stride out. Getting that heel to strike, then lowering the toes and powering up. Okay. Maintaining that nice upright chest. If you've got it in the locker, you can go plyometric. Okay, so you're splitting them. Big stride coming through, good control all by building your speed on the pitch. So that's the power workout done. I'm sweating just from the demos, so I hope you're going to enjoy it. The four weeks has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed all the workouts and got some great results from it. Get involved on Twitter using the hashtag O2Touch. If you're not already playing touch rugby, get down to your local centre. You can find out where via the website o2touch.co.uk. See you soon, have a great time.